What's up guys, Jordan here with Objective C Toros Lesson 10 Functions. And this is a very important lesson because functions are quite important in programming. Now what is a function? Well it is just a set of statements in braces and you will always use functions. And the function main is where the execution of the program begins. So we've been using functions this the entire time so they're not completely new. And you can declare as many functions in your code as you'd like. Now what are the parts of a function? Well the first part is the return type of the function and this can be something like int or uh, double or void if you don't have a return type and then you have the name of the function and the arguments of the function and the contents of the function. So the return type the data type returned by the function and every function can return a type when it is finished so you could return something like uh, a euro converted into US dollars so that'd be like a number or you can return a status indicator now a status indicator such as zero tells you the function successfully completed all the statements in the function if the function does not return a value just use void and if you leave out the return type, it will assume that the return type is an int. Now, function name, don't need to go over this too much. It's the name of the function that you will use to call it with. Okay, the arguments of a function. Now, this is the hardest thing to grasp about a function. And I didn't really understand it for the longest time. But uh, the arguments are enclosed in the parentheses after the function name. So you can see the example right there. And each argument has a data type followed by an identifier. And this variable that you declare lets you pass information into the functions. And these data types that you use to declare these uh, new variables can be built-in data types or your own declared data types. And if you have more than one argument, separate them with commas. And arguments are optional. So if you don't have any, um, just put parentheses and leave them, leave nothing in it, or put a void inside the parentheses. Now, here's how uh, arguments really work. Here above we have a void spend dollars, a little function that we've made ourselves, and then the argument is double dollars. And then inside this function, we have vacation budget, dot budget, minus equals dollars now we go down to main so it's run along with the program uh, it creates double it creates a double uh, number dollars equals 100 so it uh, creates 100 someplace in the memory of the computer and then it goes down to spend dollars and so spend dollars initiates the function up above spend dollars so it jumps up there and says hey wake up you've been called into action so it starts running the function uh, void spend dollars so it goes through and vacation dot budget minus equals dollars well it doesn't have a value for dollars so it looks around and sees that it's an argument so then it goes back down to where it was called into action in main and it sees in parentheses it has number dollars so number dollars will be passed through double dollars into the function void spend dollars so and since uh, number dollars is a hundred it would be vacation dot budget minus equals a hundred dollars so dollars is just a copy of number dollars now that may have been kind of confusing a little bit but it'll make sense once you see it in code. Now some extra facts about functions. Local variables are variables you have declared inside your functions that you've created. And whenever you declare a function you must include parentheses even if there are no arguments. The parentheses tell the compiler this is a function. And when a function is called the arguments are copies of the variables you pass through the arguments. And arguments, trust me, it'll make a whole lot more sense once you see it in code. 
So let's go into Xcode and create some functions and use arguments.